In this episode, we're going to take a look at the nature of the fixed modality in astrology. First, we'll go through a brief overview of what modalities are, and then we'll look at the unique way this energy is expressed in each of the four fixed zodiac signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. In terms of personality, the fixed modality is resilient, stable, and powerful. I really love fixed energy. It's super steady. You can really count on fixed signs. So every zodiac sign is associated with one of the three modalities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Modalities are seasonally based. Each of the four seasons is divided into thirds. Cardinal is the first third, which begins a season. Fixed is the second third, which is the middle of a season. And mutable is the last third, which ends a season. And where a sign falls in its season determines certain characteristics of that sign. The Oxford Dictionary defines the word fixed as fastened securely in position. Some synonyms are anchored, set, rooted, and permanent. This definition offers a really good description of the fixed energy in astrology. Fixed signs are those that uphold the peak of their respective seasons. They neither begin a new season nor end an old season. Instead, they maintain the season that is. Taurus is the midpoint of spring in the northern hemisphere, Leo is the midpoint of summer, Scorpio is the midpoint of autumn, and Aquarius is the midpoint of winter. And of course those seasons are the opposite in the southern hemisphere, but what remains the same is that these fixed signs are always the sustainers of their season. And that tells us a lot about what type of people fixed signs are. Now I'm going to get into a breakdown of each individual fixed sign. Timestamps will be in the description so you can skip to your sign. I recommend listening for your rising sign if you're looking to understand more about your personality. If you don't know your rising sign, that's okay. You can always listen to your moon sign or your sun sign. And you can listen for other planets too, which will provide a better understanding of specific areas of your life. For example, if you have Mercury in a fixed sign, then these interpretations I'm about to get into will help explain a bit about your intellect and your communication style. Taurus is the most fixed of the fixed signs. Because it's an Earth sign, Taurus already has qualities like stability and longevity built in. If you'd like to learn more about how Taurus manifests the Earth element, you can check out my other video, What It Means to Be an Earth Sign, linked in the description. When you layer the fixed modality on top of that, you get a super strong energy of steadiness. Think of a big tree that's like 100 years old and the firm grip that its roots have developed in the soil. That tree isn't going anywhere. Fixed energy is the energy of slow and steady wins the race. They're not very quick to begin something new or change their minds or their plans once they've decided on something. But when they do get to where they're going, they've built something really solid that reflects the time and patience and sustained effort they put in. Taurus loves the earthly sensual joys like good food and good art, things that are comforting or pleasing. So they often have very classy or classic tastes in whatever they're interested in. They have an eye for timeless quality. Because the fixed modality is concerned with the long term, Taurus understands what has inherent worth and value over what is just an ephemeral trend. That long term quality of fixed signs means that anyone who winds up with a Taurus in their life is very lucky because Taurus is usually super committed and loyal to their loved ones. They work really diligently and and devotedly to craft a beautiful life in so many ways. All fixed signs have a devoted energy about them, and Taurus applies that to things like cultivating peace and comfort and beauty and finding joy in simple pleasures. They find very concrete ways to consistently enrich their lives and the lives of those around them. It's such a lovely energy. Thank you so much for listening, Taurus. Comment and tell me something about your sign that you'd like to understand in more depth. I might make a future video on that topic. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me. Leo possesses an authoritative quality where they can be very well suited to leadership or being the central figure that sort of keeps everyone on track or everyone in line. Fixed signs command a lot of power because they are so firm in their positions. 
So you'll tend to see that the Leo in the family or the workplace or the group of friends is the pivot point that everyone else revolves around. Leo set the tone for everyone and the plot of everyone's story sort of hinges on them. In many ways, Leos are the plot. They generate the energy that drives things on and keeps the story going. The fixed modality gives that attribute of long-term influences. A fixed sign's reach extends through vast distances of space and time. So the Leo story is an epic saga. The fixed energy makes it so that they have a profound and lasting effect on their world and everyone under their influence. There's a reliability to all fixed signs, and Leo is the fixed fire sign. So it's sustained fire. It's consistent fire, consistent warmth. If you'd like to learn more about how Leo manifests the fire element, you can check out my other video, What It Means to Be a Fire Sign, linked in the description. Leo definitely brings out that fixed attribute of steadiness where you can really count on them to keep radiating their light. They're very true to who they are over the long haul. Once you get to know a Leo, you know you can expect them to deliver that same energy and personality on a regular basis. Loyalty is a trait common among all fixed signs, and Leo often expresses this as self-loyalty or authenticity. A lot of other signs struggle with self-betrayal or feeling like they need to put on an artificial persona, finding it difficult to love and accept themselves, but Leos have this unique quality of self-loyalty where their confidence and their belief in themselves is often very robust. It's one of Leos greatest strengths. Thank you so much for listening, Leo. Comment and tell me something about your sign that you'd like to understand in more depth. I might make a future video on that topic. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me. Scorpio expresses its fixed nature in its strength and endurance, its commitment, and its tactical patience. There's a loyalty to all fixed signs, and because Scorpio is a water sign, a lot of this energy is expressed on a deep emotional level. If you'd like to learn more about how Scorpio manifests the water element, you can check out my other video, What It Means to Be a Water Sign, linked in the description. Scorpios tend to be extremely devoted to friends and loved ones. Anyone that they develop a deep emotional attachment with, they're very faithful and protective of those people. All fixed signs possess a quality of stability, which makes Scorpio the least emotionally volatile of the water signs. They're steadfast, especially in terms of emotional support. That's why Scorpio has the reputation for being good in a crisis, because they're so steady. You can lay a lot on Scorpio, and they'll weather any storm with you. They are the truest blue, or ride or die kind of people. Fixed signs are always playing the long game. And of all the signs, Scorpio is probably the best at long-term strategizing. They can see both opportunities and threats far out in the future and make contingency plans accordingly. It's pretty remarkable how much foresight Scorpio has. They're content to plan and work in the shadows for a long time without any reward or recognition in the pursuit of a payoff way down the line that other people might not even be able to envision or have the patience to wait for. But Scorpios are very goal-oriented, so whatever they set out to achieve, that fixed energy gives them the staying power to make it happen. It's such a powerful sign in that sense. To everyone else, it looks like Scorpio came out of nowhere and did this awesome thing because people don't see the painstaking dedication that Scorpio has probably put in for years. Thank you so much for listening, Scorpio. Comment and tell me something about your sign that you'd like to understand in more depth. I might make a future video on that topic. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me. Aquarius is the fixed air sign. If you'd like to learn more about how Aquarius manifests the air element, you can check out my other video, What It Means to Be an Air Sign, linked in the description. So the Aquarian version of fixed energy is very cool. I sometimes like to explain fixed energy is freezing the element because that gives a fixity or a solidity to it. Like for the fixed water sign Scorpio, we can think of how water freezes and becomes a solid ice and how that modifies the nature of the element. But if we think about frozen air for Aquarius, it has to be really cold to freeze the two most prominent molecules in air. Like you need almost absolute zero temperatures, which for reference is about negative 459 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 273 degrees Celsius. And where can you find temperatures like that naturally occurring? You can't find them on Earth unless they're artificially simulated in a laboratory. You need to go to space. The natural temperature in space is about absolute zero. And oxygen molecules in space get so cold that they freeze and bind to stardust. So all the oxygen in space is clustered in clouds of stardust, which is the most Aquarius thing ever conceptualized. Aquarians themselves are stardust creatures. They're spacewalkers. The fixed modality 
mixed with the air element makes Aquarius simultaneously the most grounded and the most dissociated sign. In a way, they're removed from basic human concerns. They're not removed from reality. Aquarius is actually quite well aware of reality. But they're also aware of a more profound reality than most people are privy to. They're aware of that elevated plane of existence that most humans can't quite reach or don't want to reach because it's a bit too stark or too real. And once you know that realm, you can't ever go back to a state of ignorant bliss. Being an Aquarius is like, you know you're in the matrix and you can't go back to enjoying the simulation. But most everyone else is still in that state of accepting the surface level reality. There's something called the overview effect, which occurs in people who've been to space and looked back at the planet Earth where these astronauts are overcome with emotion because they suddenly realize this profound connectedness of humanity and it changes everything about who they are and what they believe and their sense of purpose. It's defined by researchers as a state of awe with self-transcendent qualities. I'll link to the research paper about it in the description if you're interested in learning more. But this overview effect is something people with strong Aquarius energy feel on a daily basis without ever having to go to space. Self-transcendence is a really good keyword to describe Aquarian energy. It's defined as the overcoming of the limits of the individual self in spiritual contemplation and realization based on humility and respect for the mystery we did not create. That state of awareness gives Aquarius this very profound yet humble sense of responsibility towards their fellow humans. Fixed signs are the most devoted and responsible signs in the zodiac, and Aquarius embodies that in their egalitarian ideals and their desire to enlighten humanity. This is where those cliches come from about Aquarius, like they're different, they're weird, they dance to the beat of their own drum. It's because they know a fundamental truth about the universe that other other people have yet to discover. And Aquarius feels compelled to share their perspective with the world in a gesture of benevolence. Unfortunately, the radical truth of the genius or the prophet is sometimes laughed at or ostracized as being weird because people can't understand it. They've not yet ascended to that level of enlightenment. But the beautiful strength of Aquarius is that they just keep being themselves. That fixed nature gives them a staunch commitment to their truth and their authenticity. They won't be pressured into conforming to everyone else's standards. And that's one of the things I personally admire most about this sign. Thank you so much for listening, Aquarius. Comment and tell me something about your sign that you'd like to understand in more depth. I might make a future video on that topic. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me.